What is going on all the 10 people watching my video? Today I want to address a quick issue that I've been having with the jailbreak that I posted, uh, which will work for iOS 10.2.1 and below. So it's called Sagon and what happens is once you install it, it simply crashes. And this tends to happen after around a week of you owning the jailbreak. And it's been bothering me that this app was just not opening. You know, it was a simple issue it seemed, but I just did not know what to do. So I tried going to the settings and verifying the license um, by going to general, profiles, and I noticed that the jailbreak was not there. These two are irrelevant. They're not concerning my jailbreak. There's supposed to be something saying with your email on it and it's missing. So I wondered what's wrong and it turns out that your jailbreak will expire in a week. By expire means it's not going to go away if you already have it, but it's going to disappear if you happen to restart your phone around a week after you have it. So to fix this issue, we must simply reinstall the jailbreak from the computer. I understand it's a bit of an inconvenience, but nevertheless, it's much worth it. All right, so on your computer, you're gonna have these two windows open. It's the same process. I've already done this in my previous videos. This is just for those who haven't seen that. So you're gonna go to the jailbreak website and you're gonna download the City Impactor, which is going to look like this. It's very easy. And of course, you're going to make sure if your phone is supported. And before installing a fresh jailbreak to your phone, if you have any previous ones which are not working, which in this case we do, you want to go to Xcode and revoke certificates. This is very important. Once you enter all your iTunes information, click OK, start. And it's going to revoke whatever certificate you got. After that, you're going to download this beta to R1, which in this case, it's my sixth time doing so. You're going to drag this file over here. Again, enter your information. Click OK. And it's going to start installing the jailbreak. OK, once it's completed, you're safe to exit out of all these programs. And the rest of the jailbreak takes place on the phone. We're going to check if the app works and it launches no problem. Unfortunately, you're going to have to redo the process once every week if you have to restart your phone in any sort of manner. This makes this jailbreak very frustrating at times, but unfortunately, this is the only thing we have to work with at this point of time. As soon as new jailbreaks come out, I will make sure to release any videos. This is also a very frustrating part. A lot of people are having issues still. It fails to escape sandbox or whatever. Once again, just keep restarting your phone if it fails to do so and the jailbreak will install in no time. Oh, and by the way, if the jailbreak keeps failing to install, make sure you go to general profiles and management and you're going to go to your email and you're going to verify once you do so just go back and try again it's a process of trial and error unfortunately and finally we got some action here i'm actually very excited it finally worked if you have if you had to deal with this jailbreak in the past you know what a success it is when it finally reaches that installing point so this is how you know that it worked. Your phone's gonna reboot. I've done the same process in my past videos, but this video was just to showcase this one problem that once that license expires, the jailbreak completely crashes and fails to work. So in order to fix the license, we go through the whole hassle of reinstalling the jailbreak with the computer. But as you can see, I have uh, Barrel installed right now and my phone is 100% jailbroken. I hope this video was helpful. I'm sorry if 
you are having issues installing the initial part of the jailbreak, I just want to address this specific problem. Leave any feedback in the comment section. It will be greatly appreciated. Any ideas that you have at me, any problems that you're having that you would wish I could post in the future videos, I'll be glad to do so. And have a nice day.